here's a little moment I picked up on, Molly, that if you think, oh, I'm coming around to Alex, maybe he's not as weird and creepy as I thought he was at the beginning of this, uh, you are reminded immediately when Alex goes to Brian, he's like, are you flirting with Jordan tonight? And Brian goes, no. And Alex goes, okay, I will. I am so glad you picked up on this Mm -hmm. because this is exactly what is so annoying about Alex. Yep. Let me point out thing number one. He's down to check with Brian about Uh, how Brian feels about it. He feels more obligation to check with Brian Mm -hmm. to check that Brian's feelings aren't hurt than to check with Danielle about like, how would you feel about me flirting with someone else in the house? You know what I mean? So it's there that he could maybe care about someone else's feeling and it might upset someone that he flirts, but just not the right person. Not the person who's wielding knives and running around the house. No, no. And the other thing is that the reason I do feel really bad for Danielle is that it's one thing if you're going to hook up with someone and just have no commitments, Mm -hmm. that's one scenario. And that's what Alex has said he wants. And that's what Danielle has said she wants. And that's the premise of their relationship. It's another thing to hook up consistently with someone and flirt with them and then be hooking up with someone else in the same house or trying to, or flirting Mm -hmm. with someone else in the same house. That is shitty. Even if you don't have any obligation to someone, you don't have a relationship, you're not exclusive. This is still shitty behavior. Absolutely. It's two weeks, folks. 